The wait for a Soho router replacement from Peplink is now over. Let's welcome the Peplink B1 by taking a closer look inside the box. Once we open the box, we're presented with the usual quick start guide along with stickers of the device's serial number. As we unwrap the router from this plastic, we can tell you that the router is about the same size as the Pepwave Surf Soho routers were. That's 10.3 inches by 6.3 by 1.3. And because there's no embedded modem, the hardware is pretty light at just over one and a half pounds. Looking at the front side of the router first, we got our factory reset button on the far left beside the status and Wi-Fi LEDs. Off to the right side is our USB Type-C port. This is where you can connect a USB cellular modem or Android phone. On one side, there's the Kensington lock for securing the device when necessary. Then on the back side are the 2x2 MIMO Wi-Fi antenna ports. These support local and Wi-Fi WAN connections, which is how you can connect your iPhone hotspot or really any nearby Wi-Fi network to use as an internet connection for your network. You also have gigabit-capable Ethernet ports, four total for local access and two reserved for internet access, such as your cable DSL, satellite, or fixed wireless connections. And on the far right, there is the four-pin power port. Moving the router over, we have the label on the bottom that provides you the device's serial number and default passwords for access to its local network. There's also a few of these rubber feet to help lift the hardware above the surface it's sitting on, while also providing some stability to keep it from sliding. Lastly, you've got two mounting holes if you need to mount the hardware to a wall. Next up inside the box is the power supply. This operates at 12 volts, 3 amps. It also comes with multiple power plugs for different regions. Over here, we have our two Wi-Fi antennas. These use a reverse polarity SMA mail connector and simply screw onto the ports at the router. They will then bend upward at a 90 degree angle, if needed. Last but not least is this nifty peplink labeled Velcro cable tie because you can never have too many of these. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed learning more about the peplink B1 and welcome you to subscribe for more videos about our products. Thanks again.